Hi, thanks for being with us on this edition of Electric TV. I'm Tom Green. Far from the bright lights in the big city, Fargo is a town in the upper Midwest like any other with its own historical charm, cheerful people, and set of challenges. But the lights can and do burn bright at the Fargo Theater in downtown Fargo. With the story is ETV's Dominic Geritano. In Fargo, North Dakota, things happen a little slower. And like many small towns in America, things are tough. Things were tough for the Fargo Theater, too. So at the end of 2010, when they realized they might not be able to afford the light bill for the big marquee in the center of town anymore, they put out an APB into the community. Luckily, the NECA IBEW team responded to the call. It came to the chapter manager's attention, Ed Christian, that there was a need here to do some restoration work on the marquee up here for the Fargo Theater, and, and it presented it as a, actually an ideal situation where we could cooperate with our LMCC and help the Fargo Theater do some work that they needed to get done. What we uh, found out was is that they actually had a separate meter on the lights, and they kind of nailed it right down to what they would need to keep the lights on. So for uh, our group, for the electricians, for the, the members, and for the uh, contractors, it kind of was a natural fit for us to uh, keep the lights on, obviously being in the electrical industry. So uh, we were able to accomplish that, and the donation that we put forward was $2,000. What they did for us was really just uh, let us know that the community is just full of inspirational people. The theater is one of the biggest parts of Fargo history. Built in 1926 and remodeled in the Art Deco style in 1937, it's been continuously open since then. Went through a couple of rough patches in the 80s and early 90s, but the spirit of the community just kept pulling it through. After all, it just wouldn't be right for the lights to go out. Early 1960s, my mom and dad would bring me and my brother down here to visit my favorite uncle and we'd come downtown on Broadway here. And I mean, that's back when the marquee was lit up, way before there was multiplexes and anything. And I still remember that big old marquee. I think it's a symbol of, of, uh, of a community that cares about historic preservation. The Fargo Theater marquee says Fargo all over the place and screams it uh, almost 24 hours a day. It's a touchstone for people who come back to this community and say, um, I went to Gone with the Wind or Wizard of Oz. We spend enough time in the dark here with the winter months that you know the lights are a critical part of it. The thing that the downtown has done very well is they've really focused with a lot of effort, a lot of dollars and a lot of uh, donated time of people that or have a, you know, the feeling of keeping that rural America. A small donation, but one that gives back to the entire community. The NECA IBEW team's monetary help is ensuring that the Fargo Theater will be around for years to come. It connects generations, and you know, very few buildings can say that. Making sure the lights never go out in Fargo, I'm Dominic Geritano. Thanks for that story, Dom. And thanks to the help of NECA and the IBEW, the lights remain on at the Fargo Theater. Just one more example of our team knowing that they're a part of something bigger, the communities that they live in. Thanks for being with us on this edition of ETV. I'm Tom Green. See you later.